There's no need to shout or scream or struggle. There's nothing you can do in your current condition. But that might change once I'm done. I'm sure it's quite the shock to wake up. You probably weren't expecting to wake up at all. Not after that nasty accident you had. They weren't sure what they were going to do with you. Some wanted to bury you. Some wanted to cremate you. Some wanted to throw you in the water. Others wanted to just leave you out in the forest to rot. I suppose that's what happens if you die without friends or family to take care of your remains. Bad for you, but it was an opportunity for me. I was able to take your body without anyone noticing. What was it like before you woke up here? Do you remember what the other side was like? If there is even one. Or was it just like being asleep? You didn't even know there was a waking world. Trying to get your face just right. Right for me, that is. It has been so long since I've had a proper familiar. And demons are so fickle and other creatures can be difficult too. Summon but a walking corpse, those are easy. And the best part about that type of familiar is how much control you have of them. Yes, you are unable to do any type of magic, but you can listen and you can. Any of the simple tasks that are required day to day to keep this little coven afloat. Hmm. What should I do? What should I do? You're so customizable. Not sure what I should go with. There's so many possibilities. Not sure if I should give you a bigger mouth or not. It looks like part of your face was. Not 
that you'll need all of those. Not for me. If I want a heart, I'll get a fresh one. Don't need one from you. I can't get your eyebrows right. They're just not there. Is it the wrong color? Maybe it's the wrong color. I'm using. Go darker. always change if we don't like it. No. Maybe that's what's wrong. Maybe it's not the eyebrows. Maybe it's another part of the face that doesn't me getting ahead of myself. I may have resurrected you, but it was a unholy resurrection. No one's going to be happy if they see you walking around. I'll have to take you somewhere else, somewhere where no one will recognize you. Which should be easy, because I'm changing your appearance quite a bit, but still. Best not to have any potential... Hmm. Did you have any friends? Well, I don't want anybody, even if they're just a mild acquaintance, to even think that you came back. It's not easy running a coven. I get the job done. My current job is you, though. Maybe the jawline. Maybe the jawline needs to be molded into something sharper. Maybe the chin can be a little tighter here. Maybe the area right where your head ended. Earlobe meat. We could push that. We could push this side so it matches. Maybe make the cheekbones higher on the face. Just massage those upward. Make them a bit hard. Stick out a bit. Give that corpse like appearance. Just push those cheeks in. Mm, no, that's not it. You look a little too dead. Let's make you look more lively. So let's push those cheeks out and give your cheeks some, some rosiness and fleshiness. Rounder at the top. There. 
there's a really sharp edge towards the bottom of your face. Mm. Oh dear, your head's very misshapen now. That looks good. That didn't work at all. We'll just even this out a bit. So we'll make this narrower and then we'll have to make the chin. very plain face, but it's not going to frighten anyone. I will ask you to do things in town and walk around regular people. I suppose it's best if you don't cause people to cry when they look at you. Oh, that, that would be quite fun. Anytime you'd go out, people would scream, what is that thing? And it's you. No, oh, maybe I'll do that another day. Maybe I'll move somewhere and when I'm ready to go, I'll give you a nasty appearance and let you run wild for a bit before I go. Again, I'm thinking too far ahead. We need to focus on the now. And the now is making you somewhat presentable. Maybe something to really give you that which is familiar look. Maybe it's a rope. Maybe I could tie this around part of you. Maybe your neck. Give you that very rugged look, like you just crawled out of a barn. But you might have, you do smell like you did. You smell terrible. I thought they were supposed to wash bodies. But apparently whoever was taking care of yours did not do a very good job. This is my favorite part about raising the dead. Really getting to choose a whole new person. The way you look can help define your personality. At least when people look at you, they think they know you. Of course, it's impossible to truly know someone without speaking to them. But that's humans for you. So many of them look at me and assume that I'm wicked. But I'm not wicked. I'm just nasty. Okay, not that type of nasty. I mean, mean nasty, like turning people into frogs, cursing young lovers so that one of them turns into a frog. I like frogs. Stealing from children. Have you ever accidentally walked in a puddle while wearing socks and then your socks get all wet? That was me. I made that puddle. Look good on you. Okay. 
Maybe not. Let's try something else before we make any permanent decisions. Maybe something for your your hands, your very, very ugly hands. We might have to cover those up. Just a pair of lace gloves. Maybe those will make your less than desirable appendages look a bit daintier. Just trying to put this on without ripping off any of your skin. Okay. Didn't really help, but it was worth a try. It's always worth a try. Let's try something a bit more. Mm. Let's just try something else. Here we go. This has full coverage from the tips of your finger to just past the elbow. That large problem area. Tell I accidentally made your mouth very lopsided, so it looks like you're smiling. It was funny at the time, but now it's really hard to read your expressions. But let's just put that down there. That's more of a, a plain look. out. Let's see what they look like side by side. We have the lacy short glove and the long full coverage glove. I can't decide. Let's just keep both. You can have mismatched gloves. It'll make you look like you have a personality. But something, something needs to be done about the rest of you. I think maybe something again. Mm. 
not sure. This is... Maybe you're just not meant to wear lace. You're just looking like a sickly Victorian child. Not the look I'm trying to go for, but that's the look that you are currently providing. Could you try to make your eyes look less like dead fish eyes and more alive and human? I see. Not that you can. Let me fix that. Your pupil has collapsed. Let me draw you a new one. Let's fix this one while we're at it. They're a little uneven, but not extremely noticeable unless you are looking at your eyes. Which I don't think most people care about eye contact that much. You should be fine. While I'm playing around with your eyes, let's give you some lashes. Some long, long eyelashes. There we go. There. Makes you feel prettier, doesn't it? Yes. Do you need all the help you can get even before you passed on? You could use a lot of adjustments. Yes, let's get by the eyes too. Let's put some color. Some shading, I should say. that. I'm very sleepy look. Oh, that is adorable. Oh, I'm gonna give you some freckles too. Maybe you'd look less dead-eye and confused if you had a nice watch. People might assume that you have a brain if they think you can tell the time. What a nice background there is on this piece. a day, unless you use the 
24 hour clock, in which case it's only right once a day. Probably that works. I'm immortal, so I don't really pay attention to time. At least I think I'm immortal. I swear if that demon reneges on our agreement, I am going to be one very upset witch. I'm sure the deal went through fine. I'm sure the demon wouldn't lie to me. Go well with your unnatural complexion. Do we pin it? Like a brooch? Or do we hang it? Like a necklace? Or do we put it in your pocket? Hang it from a chain? Now, we'll find a better place for it later. There we go. Good place for it. Don't lose it. We should do something about your stench. I know that recently resurrected corpses have a particular odor, but we can try to cover that up. I got these flowers from the graveyard. They were on somebody's grave. Flowers should really be for the living. Not like the dead can enjoy them. somewhat smell like as well, but in a less pleasant way. I've never been married or asked on a date or anything like that. Not that I'm bitter about it.
enjoy the smell. Or I can enjoy the smell. I don't know if you can smell anything. Oh, not with that. No, I accidentally uh, collapsed your septum. Let's just move that out a bit. Make those nostrils open a bit more. There we go. Hmm. Not bad. We still have to work a bit more on your face, but the outfit is coming together. But still, you might look good in public, but how will you look in private? You don't need to try to impress me when it's just the two of us. So how about you wear something special when we're at home? Pretty. This particular piece is the noise it makes. I want to hear this noise whenever you move. That way I will know where you are at all times. Of course, it's not too loud. I don't want it to be annoying. You can wear this when we're together. I think I'll look great on you. quite busy today. A lot of possible things to put around that. Orthodox hair ornament. Is it like that? Good. now. It's the easiest place. We 
can always change it if we want. Which wrist should I put this on? Over here. Over here. your arm. Here you can place that down. Perfect. Just perfect. I don't like that you were able to make a choice. When I asked you which arm, you shouldn't have an opinion. Looks like I have to finish my spell. Everybody has a... a will. Something that drives it. Something that compels it to live. This will helps you make decisions. Since you don't need to make choices, I can take that free will. I'm just going to use my hand. Everyone's free will takes a shape. What an interesting shape yours took. A key. I suppose that's an appropriate look. He can be a sign of freedom. You could unlock something. I'm afraid that now that I have this, your free will is forever gone. This little key is mine to keep. full of curious items. This is the first time I've had someone's free will. You're going to be able to see a lot of my collection while you're cleaning it. It does get quite dusty up there. You might have to clean it several times a day. But that just means you'll be able to look at it every so often. Not that you can get it back. 
It's mine now. Not like you have a will to want it back. I have it. Familiar? This is your witch speaking. You will obey. Hmm. No. I'm hungry. Famished, even. Retrieving a corpse and... Redesigning it and choosing an outfit and taking away its free will. It's just... So... Strenuous. I could really use something to eat. I could use something to nibble on. Why don't you be a good little familiar and make me something? I don't care if you have to go out and get something. Or if you can scrounge something up in the pantry. But whatever you make it better taste delicious. Or I'll be angry. Thank you. 